Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. In the first four installments of this series, we illustrated that the most powerful electrical phenomenon on our own world, lightning, may be the ideal analog for many stupendous electromagnetic phenomena throughout the cosmos. The telltale signatures of lightning are seen in stellar and galactic jets in filamentary star-forming networks, and in mysterious magnetic structures. Yet space scientists still imagine that gravity is king, and thus with ever finer technological data, the standard explanations for unexpected discoveries have grown increasingly bizarre. In this episode, we will explain why the discovery of pulsing electrical oscillations in space is the fifth of ten reasons why the universe is electric. Pulsars Modern astrophysics is a wonderland of strange and often physics-defying oddities. One of the most bizarre astrophysical objects ever proposed is a so-called neutron star. Scientists tell us that the material left over from a supernova explosion of a massive star collapses gravitationally, forming an incredibly small yet massively dense star mostly composed of tightly packed neutrons. The average neutron star is thought to be around 10 to 20 kilometers in radius, yet supposedly has about one and a half times the mass of our Sun. In fact, as described on an official NASA webpage, a neutron star is so dense that on Earth, one teaspoonful would weigh a billion tons. A rotating neutron star is said to emit narrow beams of radiation, which sweep toward the Earth, causing pulses of radiation to be received. If the source of such a signal is a mechanically spinning lighthouse, then it must spin incredibly rapidly, sometimes considerably faster than a dentist drill. In fact, in September of this year, scientists using a network of linked radio antennas reported their observation of a pulsar that spins up to 707 rotations per second, or 42,000 RPM. In comparison, the blade of a typical light helicopter only spins at about 450 RPM. The equators of the fastest spinning neutron stars appear to travel at a fraction of light speed. In order to avoid flying apart, a star would have to shrink gravitationally to a tiny fraction of its former diameter to avoid that fate. With little regard for particle physics, the electrical nature of matter, and the profound weakness of gravity, it was found that the star would have to be composed of neutrons. Retired professor of electrical engineering Dr. Donald Scott outlines a fatal objection to this notion. A proton-free nucleus, or charge-free atom, made up of only neutrons has never been synthesized in any laboratory, nor can it ever be. Lone neutrons decay into proton-electron pairs in less than 14 minutes. Atom-like collections of two or more neutrons will fly apart almost instantaneously. Nevertheless, in astrophysics today, the existence of neutron stars is treated as settled science. Recently, scientists have claimed that they've witnessed a so-called cosmic smash-up between two neutron stars 130 million light-years away. Like the recent pronouncements of the so-called detection of gravitational waves, which was produced by two black holes that supposedly collided a billion years ago, creating, quote, ripples in the fabric of space-time, the supposed observation of a, quote, neutron star collision has been met with zero skepticism by science media. Before addressing such a claim, let us further examine the theoretical foundations for the neutron star hypothesis and the numerous discoveries that severely challenge whether such an object could possibly exist. It is critical to remember that the incredibly exotic neutron star hypothesis was not a predictive theory which was composed and then verified through observation. Rather, the hypothesis was invented in the 1960s, after the completely unexpected discovery of radio pulses from the constellation Volpecula. In 1968, the world-renowned astrophysicist Thomas Gold proposed that the source of the pulses was a rapidly rotating star. In recent years, with improved data, scientists have observed multiple, quote, pulsars that would falsify the neutron star's existence if astrophysicists were actually willing to entertain its falsification. 
In several Space News episodes, we reported on pulsars whose apparent brightness exponentially exceeds their absolute theoretical limits. In 2014, we reported on the discovery of a so-called neutron star that appeared to shine with a brightness of 10 million suns. This fatal discovery was characterized as follows in a Tech Times article. A dead star over 12 million light years away is giving off enough light and pulses that it breaks the Eddington limit. A law of physics that outlines the maximum brightness an object can give off based on its mass. More recently, scientists using data from the ESA's XMM-Newton satellite reported their observation of the so-called brightest and furthest pulsar ever observed from Earth. The pulsar NGC 5907X1 reportedly exceeds by 1,000 times the theoretical limit for such an object's brightness. Earlier this year, Phys.org reported of this pulsar. In one second, it emits the same amount of energy released by our sun in three and a half years. The lead author of the paper on the findings stated, This object is really challenging our current understanding of the accretion process for high luminosity stars. It is 1,000 times more luminous than the maximum thought possible for an accreting neutron star. So something else is needed in our models in order to account for the enormous amount of energy released by the object. As we've pointed out in many previous episodes, impossibly huge or bright objects in space usually appear to astronomers due to a misinterpretation of a redshift, which the late astronomer Halton Arp documented in his catalog of discordant associations of high redshift quasars and low redshift galaxies. Other so-called neutron stars defy all the standard explanations of a pulsar's energetic emissions. In 2013, scientists working with the ESA's XMM-Newton satellite reported their observations of a pulsar's shocking X-ray variations, which are anti-correlated in flux with radio emissions. A lead investigator said of the findings, To our surprise, the correlation between these two emissions appears to be inverse. When the source is at its brightest in radio waves, it reaches its faintest in X-rays, and vice versa. The team is also surprised because the so-called neutron star is thought to be 5 million years old, yet hypothetical objects of that age should not emit powerful x-rays. The lead author of a paper on that discovery stated at the time, The people creating models will have to rethink what we are discovering here. When we look now to what is so far published in papers, nothing at this moment can explain what is happening. But such an unresolved, intractable problem is immediately forgotten in the aftermath of media firestorms, or what the late astronomer Halton Arp described as, quote, science by press release. As we've outlined in the previous installments of this series, such theoretical crises are inevitable in a cosmos where colossal gravity is the only explanation for stupendous electromagnetic phenomena. Despite tremendous logical and evidential objections, institutional science has shown no attempt to develop theoretical alternatives to the mechanically spinning lighthouse interpretation of pulsars. The disciplines of plasma physics and electrical engineering do offer such promising alternatives. It has been suggested that a more useful analogy to pulsar flashes is the complex radio signals induced in Earth's ionosphere by powerful lightning. A pulsar switching from X-ray to radio emissions is neither predicted nor explained in standard theory. Yet it is not mysterious if the source is a lightning-like electrical discharge, which can produce both. In fact, this idea was proposed in 1995 in the scientific paper Radiation Properties of Pulsar Magnetosphere, Observation, Theory, and Experiment by Dr. Anthony Peratt of Los Alamos Laboratories and co-author Kevin Healy. Peratt and Healy examined well over a dozen pulsar anomalies that the standard lighthouse model has failed to explain. They wrote, There yet exists no self-consistent theory to describe the pulsar electrodynamics. Using electromagnetic particle and cell simulations, the team proposed a, quote, magnetospheric disk field-aligned current transmission line system as the source of the observed radiation with external wave excitation by as yet an unexplained source. This model does not require a rotating object, nor the lighthouse effect. 
Rather, it in effect states that an electrical discharge occurs close to a star, which then travels along magnetic field lines outwards, where it encounters a disk of matter surrounding the star. Where it meets that more dense matter, a kind of short circuit occurs, and the signal is reflected, as in transmission lines in electrical engineering theory. While astrophysicists believe a mechanically spinning lighthouse is the only explanation for a pulsar's atomic clock-like stable periodicity, Peratt and Healy have shown a theoretical and experimentally tested electromagnetic model that is sufficiently stable to explain the phenomenon. The most stable oscillator ever achieved on Earth is known as an ion trap. Their model is a kind of stellar ion trap involving a pulsar surface magnetosphere relativistic double layer. Double layers are naturally formed by all electric stars. Pulsars are distinguished by having a power supply sufficient to form relativistic double layers. Importantly, the electromagnetic pulsar experiment of Healy and Peratt also showed the features of gradual pulsar slowdown due to losses in the dielectric media and in synchrotron emission. What's more, it showed sudden pulse speedup or glitches where a short circuit occurs across the magnetospheric circuit, shortening the transmission line and the pulse period and increasing the pulse frequency. No incredible neutron star whirling dervish is needed. It must be emphasized that the formation of neutron stars relies on the standard theories of stellar evolution, which assumes that stars burn themselves up and supernova explosions. Scientific discovery has proven extremely problematic for these theories. In fact, as we will report in a forthcoming Space News episode, the standard theory of supernovas will never be resolved with increasingly stunning observations. As reported on November 8, 2017 in the Fizz.org article, Star exploded, survived, and exploded again more than 50 years later. An international team of astronomers discovered a star that exploded multiple times over a period of 50 years. The finding, published by Nature, completely confounds existing knowledge of a star's end of life. The lead author of a paper on the discovery says, This supernova breaks everything we thought we knew about how they work. But as viewers of this series are painfully aware, this type of confession has become numbingly routine from space scientists on every celestial phenomena at every possible scale throughout the cosmos. Yet we still await any meaningful reassessment of consensus theory, or any attempt at exploring real alternatives. Do dying stars collapse gravitationally, forming neutron stars of such massive density that a single teaspoonful of their material would weigh a billion tons on Earth? Does a mechanically spinning lighthouse switch from X-ray to radio emissions? Do dead stars 20 kilometers in radius spin at speeds of tens of thousands of revolutions per minute, nearly twice the speed of the blades of a typical kitchen blender? Does a minuscule dead star shine with the brightness of tens of millions of living stars, in defiance of the quote, known laws of physics? Astrophysics in 2017 presents a bedazzling specter. The unfathomably exotic is the cultural norm, while the real practitioners of Occam's razor are labeled crackpots and cranks. Like every other fantastic electromagnetic phenomena in space, an extremely exotic explanation of pulsars is only necessary if one holds to a completely untenable position, that electricity causes nothing in space. Rather than affirming the dominance of colossal gravity throughout the cosmos, the discovery of pulsing electromagnetic signals is yet another confirmation that our universe is electric. For continuous updates on space news from the electric universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.